Hello everyone. This is Professor J. Kim. There are three different types of twins in Adobe Animate. Classic twin, motion twin, and shape twin. What's the difference? So um, in this series of video, I'm going to explain uh, what the difference is and where to use it and how to use each twin. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first let's create a new Adobe Animate document. So I'm going to make the really simple one, 640 by 480 pixel dimension, and then 30 frame rate and uh, HTML5 canvas. So create it. So in this video, um, in this one movie file, I'm going to explain the three different twins at a time. First, classic twin, second motion twin, third shape twin. So first, let me rename my layer as a classic twin. Classic. Okay, so let me draw one circle, choose the oval tool, and then just green fill. Let me draw one perfect circle on top left corner. So there. Okay, so first, select the frame, the first keyframe here, then go to insert menu and choose classic twin and see what happens. Since we set the, um, the frame rate to um, uh, 30 frame rate, so it shows me um, uh, 30 frames in one second. And then next thing is let me insert a uh, keyframe on frame number 30. So you can go here, keep pressing, choose the keyframe. See that? So we have a two same size of a black dot, two keyframes. Okay, with the uh, hairline and arrows. So you're good if you see this. If you see that dot, dotted line or dashed line here or the empty circle, it's not good. So you need to redo it. Okay, so first, this is my first keyframe, which is my departure. My second keyframe, destination. Point A to point B. On point B, highlight the frame, move your circle to somewhere. I'm going to move to um, uh, down bottom right corner. So this is the classic twin. Very simple. You can just move it from point A to point B. Okay. There are more things we can do, but I'm going to explain in my next videos. Okay. So this is classic. Let me insert another new layer. I'm going to explain about the motion twin in this layer. So let me rename it as a motion. So this time, let me draw uh, one uh, blue, this time triangle. So let me choose a polygon. Once you choose a polygon in your properties panel on your right, there's uh, uh, two options, polygon style and the numbers of sides. I'm going to have a three sides for the uh, uh, triangle. So let me draw one triangle just here okay now highlight the first keyframe so we only have a one black dot here now go to insert menu create motion twin changes the color of this segment to yellow or gold and on frame number 30 which is a one second mark this time choose the keyframe again insert keyframe See that? So this dot is slightly smaller than the other first keyframe. Okay, so this is a motion twin. So now this is a point A and this is a point B. On point B, I'm going to move my blue triangle to the top right corner. See? So for now, uh, in terms of a result, it looks the same. We can just move it. But um, as a motion twin, once you apply the motion to it, it will show you this path. See that? Now, here's the difference in motion twin. Let me place my mouse cursor on the border on this path. You see that little tiny arc, upside down arc next to uh, your mouse cursor. Then keep pressing and drag it. See? And this happens. So uh, in classic twin, you can only move on the straight path. But uh, as a motion twin, you can change your path like this on curve. 
even on the first keyframe where I inserted the motion twin, highlight the frame in your properties panel. Uh, there is a rotate option. I'm going to rotate clockwise, maybe just once. Then watch. Okay. So that's the other difference between the Emotion Twin and Classic Twin. Now let me add another new layer on top. This time I'm going to explain it with a Shape Twin. Shape. So let me move my play hat back to the very beginning. This time I'm going to draw a square in red in the middle. Let me hold down the Shift key so I can draw a perfect square somewhere there. Okay, so it looks good. Now, Shape Twin, unlike the, um, the Motion Twin and Classic Twin, Shape Twin, it happens between two different objects. So what I'm going to do is, on frame number 30, which is one second mark, highlight the frame number 30. This time, keep pressing here and choose blank keyframe. See the, um, uh, the empty circle? Meaning, that's the keyframe point B, but there's nothing yet. What I'm going to do is, since I have red square in my point A, this time I'm going to have maybe yellow circle on my point B. So let me choose my uh, fill color to yellow. I'm going to choose oval. Let me draw a circle like that. Okay, so point A, I have a, a red square, point B, I have a yellow circle. Now place your mouse cursor somewhere in between, anywhere, highlight it. Then go to insert menu and create shape twin. See that? Isn't it cool? So shape twin, it transforms um, the shape or object on point A to point B. It's kind of morphing. But also you notice that at the same time it blends the color as well. See that? Okay, so classic twin, motion twin, and the shape twin. You can play it all together. Okay, so this is really kind of a simple videos today. Um, explain the, um, the, the differences between Class Twin, Motion Twin, and Shape Twin. So in my next videos, uh, I'm going to explain the, uh, uh, some more details of each twin. So um, please the, uh, stay tuned, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.